Well, we're talking about food and fruits and vegetables, and summertime brings thoughts of, you know, cookouts, ice cream, barbecue, but there are also so many healthy options with plenty of seasonal summer fruits and vegetables to choose from. Apparently, Ben is an expert on this. Here to help us guide through some of those healthy and tasty choices is Maya Feller. Maya is a registered dietitian and nutritionist based in Brooklyn, and she's going to give us her top five seasonal summer fruits and vegetables. Maya, Welcome back. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. How are you? I am well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Marisol. How are you? I am so glad that you're here because I just got back from the West Coast where it seems like the bounty of fruits and vegetables is 365 days a year. So it just hearkens this idea of summer food like blueberries, right? That seems like a good place to start. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes, listen, I love a blueberry, fresh or frozen, they are extra versatile. You can put them into any meal or beverage. They're an excellent source of fiber and they're so easy to enjoy. They're such a great way to get up to your five per day. Cause you know, we all want to have our fried fruits and vegetables and blueberries. You can just pop them in. They're so sumptuous. I love them. And even if you have, I have a guy who's super picky. I'll even sneak them into like a banana bread or something. I know it, it you know, it changes a little bit when you bake them, but it's still, I know he's getting some of the some of the benefits of that. Um, Dan and I were just talking about that. Sometimes in the summer, you're so hot, you don't want to eat because uh, maybe you're thirsty. But you you say cucumbers is a good way to beat that. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So I love a cucumber because they're extra hydrating. And just like you said, during the summer months, we're all so thirsty. They're incredibly mild in flavor. And in my opinion, I think that they pair well with so many things. Sometimes I even like to have a cucumber with a little bit of blueberries and then feta. Believe it or not, in the morning, I'll take a poached egg or even a fried egg and put a little bit of red pepper flakes on top because I like everything tiny bit spicy. <laughs> I love that. I love like a cucumber in my tequila as well but i have a question uh the debate seems to be out peel the cucumber or don't peel the cucumber so from my perspective i actually love them both ways the peel has quite a bit of fiber in there so i leave it on especially if it's a persian or an english cucumber some of the other cucumbers i find that peel a tiny mm. bit thick so i might take off every other you know what i mean and yeah, make yeah, it yeah. so it looks Super. cute Super fancy, like we're chefs of the future. Uh, can we talk about tomatoes? Bless, best place to get a tomato is New Jersey. Oh, oh my goodness, right now they're gorgeous. I actually have tomatoes growing like in my deck in this tiny little box. It is peak season. They're so, so good right now. They're an excellent source of lycopene and vitamin C, both of which help to uh, with free medical damage. And so it's excellent for our skin, especially in the summer months. Fantastic. I love that you have a little box in your in your Brooklyn abode. What about zucchini, which I love? I love zucchinis also, Marisol. And right now, I feel like you could eat zucchini, toss the seed in the dirt, and it would just sprout right up. They are abundant. If you're doing CSAs, literally, you're probably getting tons of zucchini. Yeah. You can put them into anything. Sometimes I even grate them into a little bit of a pancake in the morning. Super versatile, also packed with fiber. I love that. I like to cook with a zucchini. This next one was a surprise shocker for me. Figs. You say yeah. that is on your list of things. First of all, where can we get them and how should we eat them? So right now, figs are really abundant because they are a summer fruit. You'll find them in farmers markets and some of the fancier places, but I do see them at, you know, Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, places mm -hmm. like that. They have them. They're super sweet and they're a great source of vitamins and minerals. I love the green ones. I just slice them right open into a salad with a little bit of goat cheese. I think it's delicious. Sometimes I even put them on the grill mm -hmm. for a little bit of an extra twist. Actually, as I'm speaking to you, I just am reminded that my sister has a fig tree. That's where I'm going to go get them. Mm. Oh my gosh, my brain is still on vacation. So we know the healthy summer fruits and veggies to load up on, but you do say that there are a couple of things that we should try to avoid or at least go easy on in this summer. What are those? 
Exactly. So I say juice like drinks that have lots of added sugars. You're going to want to steer clear of those. You'll know that it's a juice like drink because it'll say juice drink on it. Mm. And when you flip that package over and look at the nutrition facts label, you'll see added sugars in there. So skip those. They're not as nutritious as having the fruit itself. Okay. I like it. I will take fresh over juice like any day of the week. Maya, thank you so much. It's Thank always you. it's always so great to see you. I can't wait to see you in person. And those of <laughs> same same. I actually do. I'm going to bring in the team because you know we like to be healthy. You've taught us the way of the world when it comes to yes. our nutrition. Here's OG and Dan. What? Hi. Hi Maya. What How's about everybody? what about a fig Newton? <laughs> Listen, you like to play games and jokes in the morning, a big Newton. I mean, well, okay, you know what I'm going to say? My <laughs> next answer is intentionally done and once in a while, but it's not on my list of things that you should be centering in your pattern of eating. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, Sorry. your fig Newton and my cu cucumber in a tequila. We're on our way to a fantastic Monday. Exactly. Right. Muchacha, any questions? Well, well, You're the ben, arbiter of Ben all has healthy. been giving us zucchini, so I was going to make zucchini bread with mine. Will it be healthier if I mix quinoa flour and chickpea flour as opposed to using like, like a regular flour? Wow. Will that help? And sweeten it with like That's dates? That sounds amazing to me. Stop, and Maya. when it's done, can you please invite me over so <laughs> I can have Send me your slice? address, Maya. <laughs> Send me your address. I love it. Absolutely. Wow, that right. sounds amazing, OG. Right? Sure. Well, please okay, bring OG. some in. Please I'll do. Try. And yeah. send some to Maya. Maya, thank you. Thank you so much for joining, of, joining us. You are a font of useful knowledge. And if you at home want to learn more about Maya and her health nutrition tips, just check out her website listed right there on the screen. Maya, my fig Newtons are homemade. Adios mio. No, they're not. He's lying. <laughs> no, they're not. He's lying. It with comes chickpea. in the wrap. I make them with chickpea flour and, <laughs> and whole flour. And quinoa whatever. paste. Uh -huh. Exactly. And pastes. All right. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Have an excellent day.